teachers, Sam from New Line here. In this video, we're going to talk about writing on your New Line panel, which I know seems like a simple thing, but your New Line panel actually has some cool features built in that will allow you to write in a couple of different ways. So for this video, I'm going to go ahead and open my whiteboard, but this does also work in your annotation tool, which is something that we'll talk about a little bit later. So to open my whiteboard, Right here on my home screen, this very bottom button in the center is an easel and says whiteboard. I'm going to go ahead and tap that icon to open up my whiteboard. Now, I know it's a little bit of a bright background, but I'm going to make it bright colors so that hopefully you can see it nice and easy. Now, the first thing to know about your new line panel is that it has something called object recognition built right in. That's really just a fancy way to say that the panel can recognize different sizes of objects and each size has a different job. So by default on my new line panel, I'm going to get two of these very snazzy little new line styluses that I can use to write. If I pick up that stylus and I'm going to change my pen color, I'm going to tap the edge of my stylus on that pen tool. And you'll see I have a ton of different color options here. I'm going to go ahead and click purple and just make that a little bit thicker so it's easier to see. So now I can take my stylus and I can use that to write on my new line panel. The other cool thing about your new line panel is because of that object recognition, I can also use something with a little bit of a thicker tip, like my finger, to write in a different color. Now again, all that object recognition means is that my panel is recognizing two different sizes, the thin point of my stylus and the thicker point of my finger. One of the reasons that's so awesome is because now I can actually write with both colors at the same time. So if I take the tip of my stylus as well as the tip of my finger, I can actually write with both of those objects simultaneously. That is super useful to you as a teacher if you want to bring multiple students up to the panel. You do get 20 points of touch, meaning Theoretically, you could bring 20 kiddos up here at one time and have them all writing at once. Would you ever bring 20 kids up here? Probably not, but know that you do have the option to bring a lot of kids up here at one time. Even if you brought 20 students up here, you are only going to get two colors, one for any student writing with a stylus and one for any student writing with their finger. So that's something important to keep in mind. Also with your object recognition, you have a third tool at your disposal, which is using an even bigger object like your palm or the side of your fist. If I take my palm and swipe it across the screen, that is automatically going to be recognized by my panel as an eraser. I didn't have to press any additional buttons or anything like that. That was automatic because of that object recognition feature. Now, if I pick up my stylus again and start writing, it's going to switch back to my pen tool. Now, what happens if that fancy new line stylus goes missing? No worries, no harm, no foul. Because of that object recognition, you can actually use anything wooden or plastic with a thin point as a stylus on your new line panel. So I actually have here a chopstick that I stole from our office kitchen. That is one of my personal favorites. I've also used a golf tee, a mechanical pencil with no lead, um, all kinds of fun stuff. I also have a Harry Potter wand here that my students got for me back when I was teaching. So tons of different options. The key thing to know is that it is anything wooden or plastic. You wanna stay away from anything metal as that can damage your screen, but anything wooden or plastic with a thin point will register as a stylus. Just the way I can see, I'm gonna take my little chopstick here and I'm gonna use that as a stylus on my panel. One thing you may be wondering is how do I move the screen when I'm using my finger as a writing utensil? Because right now, if I take this and try to move around the screen, it's going to just draw some lines. So if I did wanna move around the screen, I'm gonna take my finger and down here in the bottom left corner, you're gonna see this little compass icon. If I take my finger and touch that compass, I can now move around my screen here, which is an endless canvas. So you'll have tons of space that you can use to work with your students or run your lessons right from the whiteboard. Once I have chosen where I want my screen to be, I can also use my fingers to do a couple more things. I can press and hold on an object to select and move it around. I can also pinch my fingers to zoom in and out. So you can go all the way down to 30% and all the way up to 300%. Once I'm done with all that and I have it in the exact right spot, I'm gonna take my finger again and tap that highlighter button. 
Now, instead of moving me around the screen, it has gone back to a pen tool. So a couple of different ways that you can kind of organize that, but also know that you do have another option. If I want just my stylus to be a writing utensil and my finger to be able to move around the screen without having to press that additional button, that is a setting that I can change. So down here in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see my little settings cog. Anytime you see that gear icon, that means that there are settings that you can adjust. So if I tap on my settings cog, this very top option up here says object recognition. Right now, we're using what's called fine pen and fingers, meaning both my stylus and my finger is a writing utensil. If I switch to this top option, right with fine pen only, now my stylus is still a pen, but if I take my finger, I don't have to press any additional buttons. I can move around the screen immediately. So that is totally up to you which option you prefer, and it's super easy to go back and forth throughout your day. So if you have one lesson where you need to be able to move around super quickly, you can switch to write with fine pen only, and then you can switch back to write with fine pen or fingers, or you can keep it on one or the other all day long, whichever works best for you in your classroom.